In 1986, um, I was asked to be on a committee for the state of Connecticut. I was working at a women's clinic and uh, we were looking at HIV and STDs and all of a sudden my entire life came together. I'd been working as a physician's assistant in the early 80s in inner city Los Angeles, two miles south of Hollywood where I had seen every kind of risk factor you can imagine inc including incredible poverty, um, teen pregnancy, illegal immigrants with no um, health care insurance and um, I sat there in West Hartford in 1986 and suddenly said, oh my goodness, this is going to be huge. And I recognized that this was going to go way, way beyond anything that they were predicting. Um, I also realized the enormity of the kinds of uh, behaviors that we don't talk about in America. Um, I went from working in that women's clinic to working at the AIDS program in Waterbury, Connecticut, where we did some wonderful, wonderful things in that community. Um, but I am um, terribly disappointed that we're at 30 years now and we still don't have the kind of services we need. Um, I am now living in Bristol where our mayor's task force on AIDS has no staff person because of budget cuts. The health department has defunded it. So I am ever optimistic. I will continue to do the work that I do. I will continue to contact and educate every um, elected official I possibly can, and every person I know that is taking risks with their own life. But I hope that 30 years from now we can say we handled this. It's done.